we have the tennis ace and legend Mr. Joydeep Mukherjee with us. Uh, Mr. Mukherjee, you run a successful academy and you are also here at uh, DDDBC, which is a chess academy. So, how does it feel to be here? Well, I'm really uh, looking forward to meet these young kids who are play chess because I have so much about chess. Though I'm, I, I played a little bit earlier on, but I'm here because my good friend Mr. Devendra Borua invited me. I'm su surprised to see Mr. Dhanuka. He's also uh, on a part of this academy. An old friend who's played tennis. But it's a pleasure being here and uh, seeing this, I'm very impressed what Devendra's done and Mr. Dhanuka's done. I'm sure they can produce some top players and even grandmasters to take our, make us all proud. So I'm, looking, I'm uh, I mean, I know it's the first time I've been going to a, a chess, invited to a chess tournament uh, to give away the prizes or be, the, be here the occasion. Uh, I thank Devendu and Mr. Dhanuka for inviting me. Since you have played chess and uh, you're a tennis professional, so what are the similarities you see between these two sports? You see, every sport has something in common with it, you know, your men mental state. I think chess is a very mental sport, uh, but it has to, you have to be also physically fit to play chess. I mean, Devin Devin they will know better because every, because, you know, mental stress is, you know, a healthy body makes a healthy mind. So, uh, I think he knows that and he, all the chess players also train very hard. I believe with Shishanath, Anand and other players, they all work hard on the body and, uh, because they have to have long hours. Man. So, and in, uh, in, in tennis is because tennis is a reaction sport. There's no time to think as far as, you know, you have a ball comes and you're there to hit it. Um, but uh, in chess, you have time to think about what's the next move is going to be, whatever it is. But uh, I think it, it uh, you know, I, I'm, a lot of people say chess is not a sport, but I think it's the number one sport, is mental sport and also physical. So, I wish I had played a little more of chess, but uh, I'm so bad, so nothing to write home about. What would be your message to the players and parents who got some success today and who did not get any? I think the, my, my message first to the uh, players would be to work hard, stay focused, listen to your coaches, they are all there to help you. Uh, don't give excuses when you lose. Work hard. You take your loss and then improve on that loss. Why you lost? You analyze your losses you know, with your coach. And then I think you have to, you know, you have to really give you 100 percent in whatever you do to be a champion or to be, get to that level. And my advice to the parents will be: let them be alone because I think competition is good. But sometimes because the parents are so keen to win, they put a lot of pressure on the children. So they should not stay away and put pressure should not be because they'll get after a while they get they'll be just fed up and stop playing. So I personally feel that that's my advice to the all the chess players and to the parents. Thank you, Mr. Mukherjee, for your valuable time. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much.